Well, actually, I, I, you know, I had a lot of, you know, I, I just got lucky. I, 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 I never appeared going to and from the ring with a, uh, I always wore a black hood, like a, a hangman's uh, hood. I put that on about uh, two blocks from the uh, from the venue where we were going, and I drove to the building like that. And I, uh, when we left the building, I always drove with somebody, or when I was driving myself, I would wear the mask. And most of the time, it'd be late at night when I left the building anyway. So I'd get two or three miles down the road, hop on interstate, and take the hood off. Now, there was a couple of instances where I was followed several miles, and um, uh, one instance, uh, an individual uh, started shooting their gun at me. <laughs> that was a really a heel. Whoa. And, uh, <laughs> I'll never forget that time. And, uh, I, of course, I sped off in several different directions to get away from the individual. <laughs> never caught him. <laughs> That is uh, pretty crazy. And now, obviously, in law enforcement, you're probably thinking if that happened, you know, you got to turn around and find that guy and make sure uh, and you put him in jail. Oh, without a doubt. But back in the day, you know, I was all I was worried about was just getting away and yeah, trying to save myself. Yeah. So that's what I did. And uh, one of the, the and when I was up in the in Chicago and in the Annapolis area, that's when I got the phone call from uh, Austin Idol and, and uh, told me to. to uh, come to Pensacola areas where he was uh, working at the time with Ron Fuller and the bullet Bob Armstrong. And that's where the, uh, the gimmick um, for me originated from after I left Chicago, Dick the Bruiser, I came to Pensacola and, and that's where I, I started the Lord Humongous gimmick. Very, very cool the way they kind of bring in with Ron Fuller when they kind of do, you know, bring in as Lord Humongous as the heel, you're the hired gun, if you will. You know, yes. he's kind of bringing you in to take guys out. Were you comfortable when you first came in? You know, obviously your friends with Austin Idol, he helped you with the gimmick, they bring you along. Were you comfortable right away? Absolutely. I, I, I met everybody. It was on a TV in Dothan, Alabama. Uh, we went there and I met everybody beforehand and <clears throat> it kind of told me the direction that they wanted Humongous to, to go. And that's the direction we went to, and, and um, actually, I actually had a I had a really great time working with uh, Bullet Bob and Ron Fuller and Austin Idol and Port Porkchop Cash and uh, Bill Ash and all those guys, Steve and Scott Armstrong, Boomer Lynch. Awesome, you know, kind of reminiscing about uh, some of these names, but the Armstrong name, especially in that area, just sticks out like a you know like a sore thumb, if you will. It just, you know, it just goes hand in hand. Bowlers, Armstrongs, Pensacola, Alabama, you know, Southeast Continental, uh, CW, whatever you want to call it, just goes hand in hand. Can you talk about how over Bullet Bob was in, in that territory? I mean, he's basically a god down there. Oh, absolutely. He is. He is the man. I mean, he he uh, taught me a lot. You know, he's one of the bookers uh, of the territory, and I learned a lot from him. Um, you know, at the time, the territory was kind of uh, going down a little bit, and, and uh, Ron approached me and thought it would be a great gimmick for Humongous to turn against him. And, and, uh, and boy, I'll tell you what, that was the best uh, idea and gimmick he had because after that, uh, the, uh, for me, becoming a heel to a baby face was amazing. Um, and I enjoyed that. It was totally different from being a heel and then turning humongous. Now, as scary as he is, becoming a heel, going to babyface. That was a totally different direction. That was wonderful. I had a, had a blast. Now, it almost seems like that <laughs> you wouldn't be comfortable because Lord Humongous is so scary and he's such a great heel. Were you comfortable? I mean, you said you liked it, but were you comfortable at first making that change? Like, did you think the transition was going to be as smooth as it went? Actually, no, I didn't. I was, I was nervous. I was a little scared. I thought Humongous might die. Hmm. But as long as I, I, I kept the, the, the mystique of Lord Humongous alive and doing exactly what I did, even being a bad guy and being a good guy, it didn't matter. The fans loved it. I'll never forget, uh, we went to a town in Florence, Alabama, northern Alabama, and um, I, it was amazing. 80% 80, 80 of the people in the, in, the, in, the, in the audience, it was sold out, had hockey masks. It was great. <laughs> That is awesome. And when you're 
that over, you know, the crowd and they're buying your merch and stuff, that uh, says a lot about not only the character, but about, you know, you, the man playing the character as well. Well, I appreciate that. I, it meant a lot. I, I I worked my heart and soul out on, on um, learning the gimmick and, and being who I was. So you have to literally live the gimmick when you're when you're portraying that that person that 